Christy Avdavitti <laughs> of Soul Journeys Radio and MyTrueEssence.net, and this is Desiree. Hello. I just dropped my toothpick. I was going to get it, like, right when you turned it on. We're, we're busy. We just had some killer chocolate with nuts. Oh, yeah, the chocolate is <laughs> There's a video on it. Yes. Uh, what's it called? Organ... Organic Vegan Chocolate Delight. Anyway, it's super delicious. It's one of my cooking videos, and we just ate really some. Good. So delicious. forgive us. <laughs> Playing with two picks. Anyways, we're in Branson, and Desiree is just has all these killer ideas that oh, she's you. actually <laughs> implementing and putting together, like a free school. Uh, you can learn yoga, herbs, nutrition, uh, music, crocheting, just like anything you can imagine. Yeah, German class. And, Ger <laughs> yes, German speaking class, or not classes. Well, but it's, it's going to be German group to start with because my mom is teaching it and she speaks German. She wants to do the German mm -hmm. classes, but she's going to Germany next month. Or actually, <laughs> May. Yes, next month is April. The first month is the free school starts tomorrow. So my mom is doing German group at the free school. Awesome. Okay, so literally, like anything you can imagine, she's putting together. She is also a gardener, and she gardens in her apartment. So those of you who say, oh, I live in an apartment, I can't garden. <laughs> yes, you can. All right. You can she do it anywhere it. you want. <laughs> <laughs> so I will, there's, there's a way. <laughs> yeah, so I just, I know you're part of Homegrown, Branson, or Home Missouri. Missouri. I don't know what's going on with them right now. Okay. It's kind of phasing out, I think, because this lady started it, and it's like a whole big, like, big story, but it seems like it's kind of phasing out, but... The main thing I really loved about Homegrown Missouri was it was getting people or together around yeah. gardening and mm. around, like, learning, teaching mm. each other, because the knowledge is there, but people don't know it, and sometimes and they don't know And getting to know, know to your other local gardeners. Yeah. And yeah. 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 So, so they're doing good. to have that all happening. So I really imagine the free school being something like this, too. Yeah. Like we want to do more work at the Vintage Paris Garden and make it, like, um, an educational herb garden. That's what my what I'm envisioning. Like yeah. planting like lavender and rosemary and thyme and yeah, like exactly. mugwort and mullein and Definitely. planting like things they see here and like labeling it. Yeah. And maybe having different like sections like what this might be good for the heart and this might be good for like the lungs or something. Yeah. Uh, make it really educational. That would be cool. Definitely. <laughs> so so I had to bring ideas. her here because <laughs> she has all these great ideas. She's also part of Project Love Your Neighbor and Yay. She's yeah, really so getting out there that. and helping people. She's helping them get their garden started. And this free school was such an awesome idea. I just had to tell everyone about it. So if you're in Branson, Springfield, or, you know, any of the surrounding areas, Harrison, Arkansas, or I don't even know what's here, really. I'm still a newbie. Yeah. But I totally <laughs> think you should check it out. They, um, here's the schedule. And they're literally just starting tomorrow. And it's almost all full like every single day, so you can go to, <coughs> excuse me, swmofreeschool.com, that's swmofreeschool.com, and I'll put the link in the description, but find out all the different classes you have going on. So I wanted to talk to you about the free school and you and what brought you to the place of just you know, hey, I'm going to go to Branson and start a free school. <laughs> like, where did that come from? Where did you come from? <laughs> well, I've been in Branson for about a year now, and before that I was traveling a lot with my partner, Carlos. We were going to different different hi, cities. Carlos. Yeah, he's here, too. He's you can come say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Be on the I camera. Hi, Carlos. This is my husband. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Yeah. We're having the baby. He's really awesome. I love him. He's Aww. cool. <laughs> <laughs> so we were traveling for a while, and we would go to big cities, but, like, I don't know, something always brought me to the smaller towns. I love, like, the, yeah. I just love being out in the woods. I love camping. I like being outside yeah. camping. But when I was in town, I would find, like, really awesome people who are, like, thinkers, you know, bright minds. And we found some places that actually had free schools. And, like, I'm just all about if you want to know something, you sh you're entitled to know it. You don't have to pay a million dollars or, like, have so yeah. many student loans and... If you want to know something, you just got to figure it out. the like, rest of your life. Yeah, yeah. It's just... So I think knowledge should be free, and I think we should share it openly. Like, if we know something, don't think, like, this person might not care. You oh, never know. <laughs> I learned this information, and I can't tell you. 
<laughs> really? Like, I know stuff. I know how to crochet. I know how to speak German. I know how to play music. Like, let's do stuff together. I know yeah. how to garden. Like, we can do anything we want to do, so let's come together and do it. And the free school is that. Like, everyone coming together and sharing what they know. So if you know something, anyone, then you're allowed. You can teach a class. You can Where does inspiration want. come for this? Have you experienced something like this elsewhere? Um, yes. Well, I went to one free school class, but in different places that we went to, like San Francisco and Santa oh, cool. Cruz, and mm -hmm. they have free schools there. Um, most of the time we were just passing through and we were, like, on foot, so we mm -hmm. couldn't, there was a lot of times we couldn't make it, but then we heard about this cheese making class, and we had just gotten, we had, was that before or after we stayed at that farm where we milked the goats? <laughs> That's cool. Uh, it was cool. after. No, it was before. I don't know. We were just really, like, dreaming about knowing how to milk goat, like, milk something and provide mm. ourselves with our own milk because we love milk. We love dairy. <laughs> but we want to know the animal, you know, have that bond so we yeah, know that's a happy goat. Yeah, you know where like, your food's coming from. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, it, that's what I feel is important. Like, your vegetables, too, and your fruits. Like, they should be loved. They shouldn't be poisoned. Exactly. It's just not nice. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So Mama nature bites back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take notice. It's happening all around us. <laughs> not really around me. I don't know. You get what you give. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, so you, you had an experience. You learned how to milk goats and then make your own cheese, yeah. which well, you do free today. Well, the free school that we went to, the class that we went to, we went to a um, cheese making class. So, and that was with goat milk, and we were just like really into goats. And like shortly after that, we stayed at a commune, and we were living there, and they taught us how to milk goats. And we were like, oh my god, our dreams are all coming together yeah. and coming true, and it's so amazing. Oh yeah, goats are awesome. But yeah, I just I I like Please. learning stuff and I go out and I like pursue it, but I feel like a lot of people are scared to just do that. So I want it to we be are. thrown in people's faces. We want someone to hold our hands <laughs> and say, Desiree, <laughs> teach me how to make cheese, please. Or I totally understand that. I mean, yeah. it's and we don't have access to that type of information. And if there is, you have to pay tons of money oh, and yeah. most likely and go sickening. somewhere else. And it's just we can't afford it you know, in today's society, so we end up knowing nothing or yeah. buying a whole bunch of dollar books on Amazon and <laughs> going out, that. you know, thrift <laughs> shops. That's what I do, dude. Every city I go to, I go to, like, their library, and they always have a basement of books that have not been checked out for, like, five years. So they sell them for, like, under a dollar and thrift shops and uh, garage sales. That's probably That's what the place is at the Taney Hills, the Branson Library. I think they, they've got mm. like a store, it's like a bookstore, but it's probably those books uh -huh. that haven't been. They do they in Kimberly really too. Cheap. Yeah, so. Do you know there's a free store <laughs> in Forsyth? There's a free like thrift that. store, but it's totally free. Everything uh, yeah. in there. The woman that owns a consignment place in Reed Spring. Uh, told me about that. That's cool. I that should be another that. video, though. <laughs> but, you know, it's so exciting that there's options available for people who want to do something, and then there's people yeah. like Desiree organizing it and all of the teachers of the classes. So, all right. So you secured the spot. You chose Vintage Paris, yeah. which is it's just a cool mom-and-pop coffee it. shop in Hollister. And they're just all about the community, like organizing, yeah. getting people together, just being a place where people come together. They just yeah. really love that idea. So that's cool. Yeah. Okay, so they allow you every day, every single day of the month. Pretty much. It's year. just that we have to schedule with them, like, if they, because they, they do rent out spaces, too, so mm -hmm. if it's, like, Something's happening on their patio that day. Or like we'll a van. Yeah, or we'll just not like have that. it that day. Okay. Like any day the vintage Paris has something else planned, which in April is only like two days out of the month. So, so like most days, I mean, look at this calendar. It's full. Literally yeah. like almost every day. And I day. get with them at the beginning of the month to make sure that these day, like all these times are open for it. But if anything changes, always like look into the Facebook page. The, it's facebook.com slash SWMO free school. And I'll always update there, like, if we're canceling a class for some reason or another. And if it's, like, an outdoors class and it's, like, thunderstorming. Yeah. Like <laughs> I like to get maybe. naked in the rain. I do, too. <laughs> but maybe not at Vintage Paris. <laughs> well, make a day, baby. Okay, so right yeah. now, you're literally, this is just starting tomorrow. Yeah, it's starting tomorrow. So. With a seed share, come share your seeds, or just take some seeds. Take seeds so you can grow your garden. Okay, and then <laughs> you have garden. herbalism classes, hula hooping classes. Dude, those hoopers out here oh, are badasses. Gosh. Yeah. 
I mean, I'm yeah, excited they're hot. I'm getting my own hoop made especially for me. I'm trading, so oh, I need my excellent. own hoop. I learned how to hoop. <laughs> it's so fun. That's great. Music workshops. And yeah. actually, Carlos, if you don't mind, why don't you come tell us about the music workshop? Since you're the Yay! instructor. <laughs> I think we can squeeze we in can here. We can do it. Yeah. I'll lean up against the wall here. Okay. <laughs> We're casual. Okay. <laughs> Um, the music workshop. Um, it's basically just an open class for anyone who's playing any musical instruments to come and just jam. You know, try to figure out your instrument and figure out what your what your abilities are on that instrument. And I'm also there to like guide people if they're frustrated. There's no reason to be frustrated. Anyone can play. Music. Yeah, anybody can play music. And God awesome. loves all sounds. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Woo! I love that! Excellent! Thank yeah. you, Carlos. So bring your drums, bring your guitar. Oh, yeah, we'd love to have lots of drums. Bring Hell and yeah. bell. Def yeah. yeah. Percussion. Any little things. Spoons, whatever. Whatever we you're comfortable with. We had a music party. I'll show you the music video after this. But at oh, my house, awesome. where we used, I don't know if you saw my herb jars, well, we just filled them up with beans, rice, you know, yeah. salt. All the coffee, you know, just to get the different sounds shaking in the cans. Yeah. And Daniel Dossi, I don't know if you know him, like a world champion drummer. He seriously, when you hear the video, you are not going to believe that that came from Jars of Herbs. Yeah. That's <laughs> super yeah, cool. Yeah, totally crazy. Oh, but man. Okay, so you have uh, music, crochet, German, a community garden network, essential oils. I'm sure you'll have some weed classes. I think maybe we should ah! even do, like, painting. There we go. We're moving back. Oh um, my God, painting, painting would be fun. And I totally. love painting. I just rarely do it now, but that would that would be really fun. <laughs> have like a painting get together, maybe on Thursdays. So these are free That's classes free. now. These are just people that are volunteering their time to go teach people. Do mm -hmm. people get donations or you know whether it's financial or, or, or items or like hey. You know, if you crochet me a vest like that. By the way, she made that all by <laughs> herself. Look at how beautiful I that did, is. I did. I made it. So, like, can I, I pay you something to make me a vest like that? Could you pay me or something? I, yeah, I mean, I you know, or make you a... Uh, okay. Uh, all right. So, <laughs> we whether it's finance, we you know, money or not... You know, donations or gifts and yeah. things like that. The free school is just about growing community mm. and like meeting each other, getting to know each other, and seeing what we have to offer. And heck yeah, if you want to donate something for this person, like whoever is offering the class, like whatever it is, like buy him, buy him something. Yeah. yeah, homemade chocolates. There you go, brownies. Mm. <laughs> 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 and Vintage Paris. I mean, they have really good drinks. They have coffees, wines. They have a few sandwiches. And yeah, what do they I have on the had menu? Sandwiches, but I've smelled it. It smells so okay. good. I love their tea. So obviously really support nice them teas. too. You yeah. know, buy a coffee or tea or juice or they have a huge selection. I can't they even do. begin they to have, Well, they have wine, beer. wine and beer, like tons yeah. of different wines, fancy wines. And a fire pit outside oh, there. Yeah, that's yeah. Nice. That was nice with the homegrown <laughs> meetings. I like that. We would have homegrown Missouri meetings out there at night. That's awesome. <laughs> we are not room. getting distracted <laughs> at all. It has nothing to do with the chocolate we <laughs> ate before the video. But okay, so for the free school, they can go to your website or Facebook page, call you up, and what do they need to know? Do they need, let's say for crochet class, do they need to go buy their own tools first? I will definitely have so much crochet stuff there for people to okay, use. Okay, so people will learn, like, hey, I've never done this before. I wouldn't even know what to go buy at a store. Uh -huh. You will teach us that. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, I want right everyone on. to just feel like they can come as they are. But, I mean, every teacher is different. Like, different teachers yeah. teach different classes. So I know, like, Sean, she's our friend. She's teaching the hula hooping class. And Whee! she's going to bring lots of hoops. Like, you'll have a hoop. You don't okay. have to buy one right cool. away. Cool. So, awesome. And that's, what is that, every... Every Wednesday from five to six. Oh, every Wednesday right in April. Show. I could try though. <laughs> I could try. Get their little early one day maybe. Uh, but <laughs> I'm gonna I, try I'll to go. To, I'm gonna go to as many as I can yeah. for sure. And yeah, but this is. I just thought it was such a cool idea, and that people need to know about this. So, like I said, if you're in Branson or anywhere where you can get there close enough, some of the classes, by the way, just so you can fit it into your work schedule or whatever. Summer day and summer afternoon. So it's not like everything is always at Tuesday, 7 yeah. to 9, so if you have something going on, you can't make it. 
it's a wide variety of times for each of these. So, you know, look at it. You can, you know, if you miss one. Let's say I really want to do the seed share, but I have a show, <laughs> so I can't be there. Would I be able to, like, post something on the Facebook page and say, hey, I missed that, but if there's anyone else, you know, who wants to share on the next class, could we do that? Oh yeah, you, try could that again? you can. You could just tell people you want seeds, right? Like we could have. We okay. Could so interact stuff, with like, other yeah, people. Yeah, just interact with people. Just okay. communicate and see if there's anyone else who has seeds. Like. Awesome. And are yeah, you? So this is just the April calendar, but you're gonna do this what? The whole season? Yeah. I'm Until I'm it's snowing. Mm-hmm. I think That's so. That's so cool. I want to do it like all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> definitely. Or even find an indoor. Yeah. I mean, place. I think some of the like some people want to do cooking classes, but we can't do yeah. that in Paris. So yeah. I think we'll also branch out and go other places too. So in the future, okay. like pay attention to where it's gonna be at. Like the time that I went to this goat cheese making class, we mm. had to take a bus out into like the middle of nowhere and walk five miles. <laughs> It was like in this random. That's town. dedication. <laughs> That's why you remembered how to do the cheese after only doing it once. Yeah. Well, we have to look at recipes online sometimes. But well, because some people down. think that if good. you don't pay for it, that you don't appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And you know, you said that you were in a cheese class cheese. once, and you've been making cheese all. You remembered everything you learned that one time, and you didn't pay for it. You know, and we got three cheese. We got a bunch of cheese to go home with. Yeah, that's and you totally appreciated it. Oh my so God, people do amazing. appreciate it. Such and if you want to learn something you're afraid that you don't have enough money to get a degree in or whatever, or if you have any ideas, can people give you ideas? Oh yeah, most definitely. Okay. Always give us ideas. If you want to learn something or teach something, let us know and we're always open. Okay, always and how time. smart of a teacher do you have to be? Not very. Like? <laughs> you know what you're doing when you do it, I okay. think that you could share that. You so know, you don't need any people. special licenses or <laughs> permits or I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Uncle Sam, can I pay you for a permit to do what I'm already <laughs> good at and love to do? my name at the bottom. See you yeah. as me. <laughs> okay. No, just do it. Exactly. Yeah, I just thought it was it. such an awesome idea. And if so anyone needs seeds, like if you want to, if you want to share seeds, like we can just meet up and I'll bring my seeds and I'll look at yeah, your seeds. Totally. I'm, I need to get. I need bring your seeds. I need some broccoli and cauliflower and kale and stuff. I just I lost thought about it too. Okay. But I've got <laughs> tons of seeds. All right. Awesome. <laughs> so and that's you know that I love it because it's really what Project Love Your Neighbor is about. You know, I have like so many projects going on, so That's I can't like devote <laughs> all of my time right there. And it's really cool to meet you guys and you know see people already doing this. So we are of like frequencies. Guess what? We're out there. Um, there are people doing these things. <laughs> and you know, I thought for I've lived here five yeah. years. Actually, th holy smokes, this is my five-year anniversary today. Yay! Wow. And I, I always think, God, numbers. I want to take all these classes, but I don't know where to go, and there's all these oh, things yeah. I want to do. There's so, so many times I've wanted to learn yoga, and I look at all these things, yeah. and they're like $20 a class. Yeah, I'm like, Pilates, you $20 like, an hour? What? So I just find people who know yoga, and I'm like, you want to just meet up and do yoga? Most people don't have time or whatever, and I do my yoga by myself, and I watch videos and stuff. But yeah. now, like, I'm just out there communicating. I'm asking everybody I know who knows yeah. yoga, like, do you want to teach it? And I'm yeah. finding people. So in May, look out for yoga. Yay! Oh, I can't wait! And I met a girl recently who does Tai Chi, and she was like wanting oh, to teach Tai Chi. Oh, that'd be killer. Oh my god, that would yeah, be so cool. Totally. I'm there. I hope she calls. She has my number. So I I'm am you. there. <laughs> so that's what it's about. We're all students and teachers of each other mm -hmm. already, so let's get out there and do it and start, you know, stop sitting at home alone thinking, hey, I want to go to class, but... <laughs> I can't afford me to know where to go. Well, this is where to go if, you know, you are no, like in Branson or whatever. <laughs> and you know what? If you're watching this video and you're in Alaska or France or wherever, you can do the same thing All there. And that's what Project Love Your Neighbor <laughs> is about. You can go check it out on Facebook. You have also... I want to bring up, you have a cool, fun blog that kind of documents all of these mm -hmm. things yeah. and, Semi you know, life. lots of good advice. And so that's Regrow Roots. Regrow Roots. Yes. dot wordpress dot com regrow roots so it's dot about gardening WordPress. and sometimes it's about crocheting it's about living you got some weed stuff on like there yeah, too yeah I got some weed yeah. stuff on <laughs> mullen okay <laughs> not that weed this weed no I got some mullen <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's got that too. Yeah. All right. I just got this really awesome blog post. Actually, I don't want to digress too long, but it was about um, 
morning sickness remedies because I'm pregnant. Mm. So and the peppermint. best thing, what? Well, yeah, I used peppermint for a while and I grew out of it. But oh, really? weed every okay. time, and there, it's kind of touchy subject. But mm, mm. that was really nice. Peppermintgym.com. Did friend make like have the green peppermint or something? Yeah, peppermint gym. Peppermintgym.com. Oh, by the way, if you do go there, um, if you haven't seen in any of my other videos, it's the oldest, longest family-run mint farm in America. It's like 101 seasons, I believe, this year. Mm. Beautiful family. And um, he also gives a discount code to our listeners. So you can, uh, when you purchase something, you know, and a little bit goes a long way. So don't overdo it. Um, <laughs> but it's good for so many things. And, you know, we've already done those videos. But the it discount is code is love <laughs> mint 10 percent, the percent symbol. Love mint so, 10%. there you go. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, so getting back to your blog, you, you know, oh, yeah. sort of document the stuff you're doing. Pretty much, and my most recent was the morning sickness one, so I'm what sure by the time somebody works? watches this. Um, well, I used ginger root, and ginger, I used, yeah, yeah th that was really good at first, but I feel like I was overdoing it, like, mm. I mean, I had to, though, for it to help, like, I just, yeah. I took the tea and, like, tried to take a bite of it, and, like, it wasn't enough for me, so I got ginger ale, like, the really potent real ginger ale, and I think it was partially the carbonation with the ginger, but then I grew out of that too, like it stopped being effective, so it's like certain things were effective for a while and then stopped working like the peppermint. Seems That's probably thing. good though, because I think uh, ginger is kind of like high in anti Yeah, I heard it's really not good so for it's probably better for you not to have too much ginger. Yeah, I um. gave up that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyways, God, we talked a lot <laughs> here, sorry, we kind of got off track, but I mean, all of these things are related, so wherever you are, you can do this too. You can go uh, check out the website, swmofreeschool.com, or Facebook, it's SWMO Free School. Yeah, it's always SWMO okay. Free School. Or okay. Project Love Your Neighbor, you can go there on Facebook. Yeah. Um, you also have a Weebly site, right? Oh yes, they do. We have we have She's a band. A me and my me and my partner, we have a band. Mm. We're called Liberty and Justice, and it's um it's a project. It's a musical project devoted to freedom. I think <laughs> <laughs> freedom of expression, and it's just the two of us right now. But we love to jam with other people too. So you can look us up uh, at libertyandjustice.weebly.com or on SoundCloud and Reverb Nation. Yay! And support your locals and get out there. It's time for us to kind of break out of our shell. I know. Yeah, get to know each for other. For years, I thought I didn't. I mean, that's why I didn't even do webcam videos. I'm thinking nobody wants to listen to me. Oh, I don't I have love anything them. that anyone I wants to I can sit there and listen to like about, three of your videos back to back. You're talking for like an hour, and I'm just like having it playing in the background. <laughs> it's awesome. It's like uplifting Thank you. and like. Your videos are Thank fun. you. So it's time for us all to get over those blocks. You know that we're not good enough. We don't have anything to teach we all have something to teach so I just think it's a freaking fabulous idea that Yay. you put this together and I thank you it's very fun. much and I hope people find out about it you know yeah. share the video and like I said even if you're not in Branson share the video anyways you know share Inspire the website people. start a free school where you are teach. anybody can do it just talk to your neighbors see what you want to learn yeah. and ask your friends if they'll teach you like maybe do it in a public space just go do yoga in the park and park <laughs> or a house or a front yard yeah. or you know yeah you Whatever don't need you to do, rent do big convention <laughs> centers and you know charge ticket prices and yeah. get your marketing managers and speech writers and <laughs> all of that so <laughs> you're just doing it and that's that's what I love about yeah. it just do it she had an idea planted a seed and it's come to fruition so mm -hmm. just Yay. like what's going on outside right now <laughs> <laughs> all Good right <laughs> well, some seeds by the way grow your garden <laughs> anything else you want to share about uh, the free school not I think that that pretty much covered it all know, right yeah but we're always <laughs> taking new anybody, so contact us and come. Come hang out. Yay! <laughs> That's swmofreeschool.com, swmofreeschool.com, or you yeah. can go check it out on Facebook or go to Project Love Your Neighbor. And, I mean, there's already a bunch of members there, so we'll just keep posting the free school there. Yeah. And who we'll knows? It. Hook it up in Argentina! Yeah. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, that's a good way to end. <laughs>
Okay, and keep farting. It's good for your health. And keep laughing. It's great for your health. Laughter, yoga, hello. Increase those mm -hmm. endorphins and, and really serotonin. Awesome. Yes, <laughs> know <laughs> your food. And that's what this is about. So thank you so yeah. much for coming over and doing this and spreading the word. And thank you for spreading the word. And thank you for planting the oh, seeds. Oh, thank you for doing this. Getting shit done. Putting it's, awesome. it's awesome. Everything. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. All right.